fucking guy. What's going on, everybody? My name is Danny Ferrari. My name is Parker Ament. We are Excellent Sound, and we are back with another video for you all. What a video we have in store. Dude, this one's a little surprise, a little banger. A little, a little surprise, a little bit of a, of a little sneak attack, or sneak uh, sneak help, but then sneak take away. But yeah, just gone. Just gone. Just in, and then Disappeared. Out. If you guys don't already know by the thumbnail of this title, yes, Virtual Riot gave us a tip for our bases, <laughs> but he deleted it. It was gone. I don't know why. But we saw it. We got you, motherfucker! We screenshotted that shit. Look yeah. at that. Look at that right you there. You can see it. It's Look right it. there. See it? Yeah, there it is. Bam! Oh, yeah. Okay. You thought. It was gone. It was there for 54 seconds, and then it was gone! He said, no! He said, f*** you! It's too late. We screenshotted that shit. Got your ass. We're we quick. We got it, dude. We're quick. So we're gonna try that today and see if it sounds good. I'm sure it's probably good. Shout out Virtual Riot for all the videos that he's done. Obviously he's an amazing producer. So the fact that he would even comment on something of ours is like uh, awesome. Yeah, super sick. It might, could, would've been cool if you would've left it there. You know, gave us a little bit of clout. Yeah, I don't know why you, why you deleted it. But it's but, nice uh... to know that you're watching, bud. Well. All right, cool. So um, as you can see, we'll put it up on the screen right here. Here's the comment. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, it's right here too as well. It's, uh, we've been FMing wrong this whole time. So now Virtual Riot says this. He says, you guys should try the Noisia method. Sine wave on oscillator one with FMB from plus a complex wavetable on oscillator two at plus one octave. Okay, essentially try doing a, a specific MN with a complex table so we can get some interesting timbre. I've kind of done that before, but I think um, what might be kind of cool is if we just try to just make what he's saying. Yeah. See if it sounds cool. Obviously, it's going to be for free download for you guys uh, down below. If you like this video, let us know. Comment down. Like the video. Uh, and also tag Virtual Riot. So you'd be like, hey, bro, we caught you. Yeah. If you like this video, go tell Virtual Riot. We caught your ass, bro. We know yeah, you're watching. We're screenshot it, dude. We got it. I'm watching you, bro. We're watching you, too. You're super dope. In your boots. You can say that we're dope. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We'll... I mean, there's been a lot of cool things that have happened to us, like throughout this whole process. Uh, you know, with with you know now working with some of the, we have a full circle story coming on that we're real, yeah. real excited to tell you guys about. But uh, without further ado, let's let's get into the video and um, and you know we're gonna go ahead and get into this sound. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, a. Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh bud? shit. Oh. That's the FOMO fire pack, dude. Actually, I'm going to be using uh, some of the sounds from that tree. Maybe we can make a cool drop. Uh, our boys in FOMO have created a pack with us on our artist series. I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit later. But yeah, there it is. Bam. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's pull in a um, maybe like a loop or something. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take it from the fire pack. Let's take it from the fire pack. Here it is, bro. All right, cool. So we got a little build for you. We're going to go ahead and show you that. We're using some of the FOMO stuff uh, and a couple of our presets you can check out. We got a little idea going. So let's go ahead and we'll put this in and now we're gonna make the fucking sound. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. All right, so Virtual Riot says we need to do sine wave on oscillator one with FM from B with a complex wavetable on oscillator two. Okay, plus one octave. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with a sine wave here. Basic shops. Okay, cool, we got our sine wave and then a complex wavetable and I found the perfect one. If you go to VR volume two, we're gonna go to complex ways. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and give you some techniques along the way. Um, so we're playing an F sharp. Okay, so he says to take, um, so we're gonna basically, now that we have this complex wavetable in, I know that a lot of ways to get some interesting stuff is to get some movement within the wavetable itself. So let's go ahead and turn the level down on oscillator B and let's go ahead and mess with the wavetable position. I'm kind of just be kind of going through uh, what's going through our heads as we're making a sound. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just be plus one octave. It looks like these ones aren't filtered or aren't faded into each other, as you can see here. It looks like just a bunch of different uh, single cycle wavetables. So we got our plus one complex, and now we're gonna go ahead and turn this volume down, and we're gonna go ahead and go to FM from B. Whoa. It does kind of sound like noisier too. It does. You know? He's kind of right. <laughs> Straight up. Maybe like a little pattern thing, something going on. Okay, let's try. Yeah. This is a good little nug right here, so spark up, dude. Yeah, spark that shit, dude. 
Really, really great way to get some really interesting patterns on your drops or on your bases, whatever you want to do, is using it in, instead of viewing like trigger and just kind of automating the rate, what you want to do is put this into envelope mode and right click one of the points here and set loopback point, just like so, right? So, and then once it's in that, it'll kind of do its own little pattern for you. Yeah, it repeats the last sequence of where... Wherever it starts over. So yeah. it's kind of cool because you can get interesting ideas. So now that I have this, um, I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And then I can add this again so it'll start the sequence over. There we go. Now we got a little drop Sick. sequence. It's yeah. literally that. That's what's cool about loopback is that you can kind of get some different stuff going on. So I really, really recommend mess, uh, messing with that too. If this was all Virtual Riot was telling us to do, it would not be a great tip because yeah. <laughs> there's a lot more work going on. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and try to make something, I guess, Virtual Riot-esque. I don't know if we yeah. can. So let's just let's let's see what we can dude. do. Uh, maybe let's get some stuff happening on here. Maybe the sync. Now I'm trying to find the tune of it. So that sounds pretty good. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I know that it's right there. So I wanna go ahead and put this down and put this here. I don't wanna go too much. I really like using this uh, sync because you can get some interesting tones between where it sounds like it's in tune and it's not. Uh, it's very like common, like Skrillex sort of thing, uh, virtual riot sort of thing. Um, yeah. Another thing I see him do a lot of too is like messing with the unison on either A or B and turning the detune down a touch and the random all the way down. I'll show you probably more on this one. You kind of get this. That. Let's just have one, do it one time. Yeah. Like this, and we're going to go a little bit fast. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to have this turn off so that when it starts playing the performer, that we're not doing uh, the random anymore. And that's going to cause it to not sound so like crazy-ish. And then you can kind of do some more pitching stuff, adding little points like these. Uh, you can get a lot of interesting, interesting, fun tones when you do this thing. We did this in our F word track. We kind of went over some of this. You remember that? This was like a huge part of like, yeah, what our, our, one of our drops, the trap drop. And this kind of really gets you like the, the weird out of tuny shit. Maybe just have it go both ways. Or just sometimes just a little bit more attack is kind of cool. Cool, that works. All right, now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do our first filter. I think we should use, we're going to say, I mean, this is kind of more like a bass. It's not really a growl. Yeah. But let's go ahead and use a high pass um, something. <laughs> Uh, the, the little sequence thing helps a lot. And then what you can do is like you got this little rhythm here and then you can kind of you know, start putting in different sounds. You're just getting an idea going. So let's go next. I still want to do, I think, a high pass. Let's see what we can get out of this. Now I want this to talk a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and have this kind of going back and forth. All right, now let's get some processing going. Definitely put some this on. Cool, it's starting pretty cool so far. I definitely like the idea of doing the plus one uh, with a complex wave. I'm usually we're usually doing like basic shapes and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I see how this is kind of a really interesting way to kind of uh, you know get some more tonality. You got to be you know you got to be careful with this because if you go too much. <laughs> That's uh, super high. Yeah, so we can go high or we can go low. And even try these, like. Sometimes it sounds good if you bring it back in on the level. It's not going to be working because of the, the detune thing. But OK, so now we got this. Let's go ahead and put some distortion on. Let's go ahead and try to finish this up. Hyper Dimensh. So like that's cool. Maybe we take this thing. But we want this to shut off too as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this here. 
a, a lot of times Virtual Riot will, will use things like this chorus. Uh, I definitely have noticed cool, like, sort of tonality thing that he's gotten with kind of, you know, kind of like a yo man, but not as much, I guess. Yeah. And the way I like to mess with it, if you smoke Nug like us, if you smoke Notch. Stone and Nugs, dude. Another fucking music cue, bro. Getting stoned on some Nugs. Woo! Let's fucking go. Uh, another thing I like to do is when I'm using a new effect to try to get interesting stuff, as I turn the mix all the way up. And then I'll go ahead and turn up things like the feedback, depth. I want to hear what's happening. And I know it sounds it sounds like shit. Oh yeah, low pass, turn that shit off. Now once you have this, this is a starting point, okay? So I'm gonna start pulling back some of these knobs. Maybe pull back um, the feedback first. You can really learn what each knob does when you do it this way. Okay, let's go ahead and pull down the depth. That's giving me a lot of spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess with these delays a little bit. And now the feedback. And then mix to taste. So now you can go ahead and put this on the mix knob. And then dial it in more from there. That nug right there. There we go. We need a sub in there, no? Yeah, bro. All right, let's go ahead and add some more character to this. Uh, it's not it's not mean enough yet. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter and try to get some weird shit going on. We have a lot of width going on with the hyper dimension and the comb. It might be too much. It's a little drier, so that's not too bad. Okay, cool. Now that we got this, let's go ahead and add another filter, and then we're gonna go back into the wavetables and try to see if we can make this thing even more titties. I like to use uh, filters at the end of OTT, kind of just to kind of bring it back to the initial sort of shape I was trying to make. I might even turn this level back up. All right, that sounded pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and mess with this. Let's go ahead, maybe try the semitones too. So that sounded pretty cool. Let's go ahead and turn off some of this other width stuff. Turn this down. Sometimes you gotta just like kind of start messing around. Need a little texture maybe, a little texture on the, on the noise. All right, now let's go ahead and process it. Now let's go ahead and use the old excellent fat rack. Fatty, baby. And we can make it even fatter if we wanted, if we did like another OTT and maybe some erosion. Yeah. Before. A little bit of erosion. And then probably what you would do, probably freeze something like this. And like I said, you remember you have the pattern, so maybe you'll start putting in some other sounds from the new FOMO pack out on March 26. And don't forget to hear the demo and song and get all the bonuses. There it is. By being the first 500 people to buy the pack. You're gonna get the project file for the song, Lose Control. You're gonna get bonuses, bonus serum presets. All right, cool. So let's go ahead now, let's go ahead and, and wrap this up. Let's go ahead and mess this around a little bit. Now that we got this in audio. What our boys FOMO like to do is a lot to do this shit. They do all this shit. And then maybe you take some of the, the stuff from the FOMO pack, start being like, okay, cool, I got my little rhythm in here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add FOMO volume one. We're gonna do some bass one shots. Fucking put this shit here. Cool, maybe put in some other ones. Swing action on there. The reverse that show, dude. Oh yeah, good idea. This one, fuck it. There you go, you just made your own new, new little sound right here. That sounds pretty cool. Fucking take a little bit of this, take a little of that. Bada bing, bada boom. A little bit of resamp. There we go. That's a sick fucking sound. I'm calling the reverse there, Parks. And that's just an idea, guys. So that's like, you know, obviously we're just kind of throwing stuff in here. But yeah, just kind of showing you how you can kind of make your own drop. So hopefully you all learned something and enjoyed that. If you want to go ahead and get this project file on our Patreon, you can do that by supporting us by being part of the YouTube Mystery Legacy or VIP tier. They all have access to the project files. Uh, some more recent than others, and also uh, the entire collection of project files back to 2018. Yeah, man. That's like three years, it's bro. It's fucking huge. Yeah, Patreon's been growing, and of course, exclusive content for that, too. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Did we do it right? Did uh, Virtual Riot, a uh, little tip, help you? Did we help you? Um, why did he delete it, you think? We need to know. <laughs> we need to know. Tell yeah. us your uh, theories. Tell us your theories. Uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and go ahead and Smash download that it, preset dude. down below. Smash that saturated Smash itself, that saturated. We'll see you next time. Who's the fucking guy?